from inside Tropicana Field here in Tampa Bay. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. Okay, all set to go. Here's the center fielder, Leody Tavares. And he deals. Swing and a miss. And we're underway here in the home opener. So here's Scherzer. And a big swing and a miss. And he chases that one. Now one away. Now it's Charlie Blackman. First offering misses the mark. No score just getting started top of the first. Scherzer deals. Center field. Bellinger makes his way towards it. That's out number two. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. continues to be one of the most dynamic talents in the game. That season he put together in 2021, one of the best in Padres history. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. And he pumps in a strike. Next pitch is in the dirt. Now one and two. Scherzer ahead one and two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Tatis waits. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's a big power threat. Brandon Lau. And leading off for the red. Only if you know how I feel. I'm just keeping it real. Nobody knows how I feel. Here comes a pitch. Just off the outside part of the plate. And the 1-0. And that one fouled off. The pitch. And now two and two. Two two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. What a way. Now batting Wander Franco. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The 1-1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And the right-hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Next pitch misses way outside. The kick, the 3 2. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Oh, 
All over that one right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. Now the 0-1. Tied him up inside with that one. Kicks and deals. Wouldn't chase that time. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Two away. Man at first. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Salvador Perez. This is another guy capable of hitting tape measure home runs. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. At the belt and fires. There goes the runner. One ball, two strikes. Account. Throw to second. Out at second. That ends the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field, top of the second. Now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Paul Goldschmidt. The first baseman. Now the right-hander, ready to go. Still no score. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. No ball, two strikes. And here it comes. Got him swinging. And quickly one away in the second. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. Second Jorge. And the first pitch misses for ball one. The 1 0. Two balls, no strike. Second inning here, no score. Swing and a miss. And a count, two and one. Two and one now, Scherzer deals. To the right side. Toro picks it up. Two up, two down at the top of the second. No, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Andrew Vaughn now. Andrew Vaughn. First pitch, just misses. Two down, nobody on. Out in front and foul to the left side. Here's a 1 1. Here's a high chopper. Throws to first, and that is that. And welcome back. Stepping in the long ball threat, Salvador Perez. And a pitch. And there's the strike. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. Well, as a hitter, you're hoping that the command on that sinker doesn't come until later in the ball game. But if that's how it's going to be all day, it's going to be a tough one for the offense. Gets it to first, and they get Perez for the out. Here's the second baseman, Abraham Toro. First offering, and it just misses. Left hand batter waits. And it's one and one. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Next offering is foul back. 
Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That hits the dirt, and the count is even two and two. The wind and the pitch stays alive. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. And there's two gone following the strikeout. And the batter now is Joey Votto. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. The wind of the pitch. Swing and this one's bounced on the ground. Tatis handles that chance. Throws across the diamond. And Votto is retired. That ends the inning. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now here's the veteran DH, Mike Moustakis. And a pitch. And a good eye there. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. And now it's even up. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. One ball. The 1-1 one, one is cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. The 1-2. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Two, two. Yep. And now it's filled up. The pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And a three two. High fly ball out of the left center field. Gallo brings it in. And there's one down. Tyler Stevenson, the next to hit for the Reds. Tyler Stevenson. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up in the down, zone and spit three. on anything that's down. The wind of the pitch. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. And now it's Alec Bohm. The third baseman, Alec Bohm. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Ball one, no strike. And the righty deals. Out to short. Fires across the diamond. And that's the third out. As we go to the last of the third. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH, Gary Sanchez. In today's game, you look at exit velocity as a measure of process, and if guys are hitting the ball hard, eventually the results usually follow. Gary Sanchez, he is a guy that hits the ball hard. Next pitch oh, misses inside. inside, and the count even one and one. To the left side, but it is well foul.
Next pitch is inside. And it's two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Righty delivers. Got him. And that's the first out. One down. Here comes Cody Bellinger. The center field. Cody Bellinger. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Next offering is in for a strike. Swings and misses. Back to back strikeouts. Two outs, bases empty. DJ LeMayhew getting ready to hit. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Out towards right center field. And that gets down into the gap. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. So the lineup flips over, and now Brandon Lau. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And he'll one. That one missed. The one one. That one to first, and he can't come up with it. Flips it behind his back to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. That's back to back singles for him. He tried to jam him inside with the cutter, and he got it in there, but I have a feeling he was sitting on that pitch, that location, because he was all over it. Here's Wander Franco. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. The 0 1. And fouled off. Two on, two outs. And that chance handled. Sends it to first. Inning over. here at the ballpark start of the fourth now here's the Reds leadoff man Leody Tavares Scherzer back to work it's good speed at the top of the order here you want to get it on see if you can get a stolen base maybe get around the bases and pick up a run comes up empty on the swing 0 and 2 now you two stays alive he's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup see if he can elevate one I think if he does he'll get the swing and miss and a swing and a miss and now one away here's Charlie Blackman 0 for 1 so far And he swings and misses oh, at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that down. one. The Reds hitless so far in the game. Hard hit, right side. Toro handles to first. Fine play in the hole for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Fernando Tatis Jr. Tatis in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. This one high in the air to left center. Gallo going back on this one. Snags it on the run. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom four. Now up for Tampa Bay. Joey Gallo.
left fielder. The right hander back to work. There's a swing and a miss. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. And the 2 And there's a foul ball. The wide to kick the pitch. A little bit low. One ball, two strikes to count. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Gets him. One away on a drop third strike. So up next, Salvador Perez. He's over one. Check swing. He went. And that is strike one. Right hander kicks deals. I got a ball, one strike. Not two close one with strike. that one. And it's two and one. Here comes a pitch. Popped up. Tatis settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. Abraham Toro next to hit for the Rays. He's 0 for 1. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. One and two here. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Back now in Tampa Bay. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Leading off for the Reds. The first baseman. Paul and the pitch. There's the strike. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Check swing went around. Oh, with two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Perez on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. Next for Cincinnati, Jorge now Polanco. Second baseman, Jorge Polanco. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's oh nothing in one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. The Reds yet to pick up a hit here. Down and in, moved his feet. And that one is lifted in the air. Bellinger drifts towards it. He's got it. Two down. Andrew Vaughn will hit next. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Swings through that one, 0-1. In the on-deck circle, you really want to use that opportunity to see some pitches and time up the fastball. Last thing you want to do is miss a good, hittable fastball early in the count. The pitch. 
In the air out towards right center. Lau gets under it. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field, and now Joey Votto. Now the right hander ready to go. Still no score. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 and 2 now. Left hand hitter waits. Got him. And one out now. And stepping in for the Rays, Gary Sanchez. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Next pitch just misses. One and two to count. And he deals. And that skips into dirt. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Next one is off the plate. Full count, three and two. Got him looking. That's his second strikeout. Two outs, base is empty. Bellinger up to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. All set for the top of the sixth. Now it's the Reds DH. Mike Moustakis. The designated hitter. Mike Moustakis. The pitch. Going one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And here it comes. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Gallo settles underneath it, makes the grab, one down. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. First offering, misses the mark. The pitch. And there's a ball. Just off the inside edge. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. In for a strike, now 3-1. and one. The Reds still looking for their first hit in this one. Rolled over to third, and it goes just foul. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game. 
And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Line to left. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Now back in safely at first. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. Oh, that pitch got away from him. And that's a hit by pitch. Well, he didn't miss by much right there, but it was just enough to clip him on the way in. There's Chuck Nasty. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. And time called at the plate. Maybe trying to slow things down here at a crucial spot. 0 and 2 now. Up the middle. It's through for a hit. Here comes Baum around third. The throw home. Safe. Almost made the play, but now it's a one-run ball game. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. You can't do much better than that on a pitch that far outside of the strike zone. Got him to chase on the two-strike count, but he wasn't fooled. He hit Double steal. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Bellinger settles under it. And that is that. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. The wind of the pitch. And ball one. And the 1 0. On the ground, out to short. Whips it to first. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. Back to the top of the lineup. Lau at the plate. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. New arm out of the bullpen, Aaron Bummer. Uh, this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Call this point of the ball. Game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Bomber deals. And a foul ball. Home team down a run as the Rays try and punch back down a run. Next pitch has popped up. Goldie has a beat on it. And he makes the catch. And that quickly, two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Oh, 
Franco at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Kicks and deals. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. That ends the frame. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. In now for the Reds, Paul Goldschmidt. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. This to third. Whips it across. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Jorge Polanco, the next to hit for the Reds. Jorge. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. He's going to have to make an adjustment. Next pitch has popped up. Votto pulls it down. Two away. So two down now, and here is Andrew Vaughn. Andrew That hits the dirt. One and oh. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. He sends it out of here, and they add to the lead. It's two nothing. Bases. empty with two away. Here's Mike Moustakis to hit. Pinch hitter coming on. Michael Chavis. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Chavis drafted as a shortstop. Next offering is in the dirt. And one and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Lifted in the air, right center field. Bellinger on the move. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Back here at the ballpark, here's Joey Gallo. And the pitch. And there's the strike. It's been tough for the offense so far, but you can't get frustrated. You got to find a way to shake it off. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're going to be able to put runs up on the board. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half-hearted swing. The punch out there, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Spencer Strider, trying to protect this lead.
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Right handed reliever. Strike two. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And a pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there are two down. Abraham Toro digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. That's through there for a strike. Well, as good as things can be, it can be a tough day at the office, even for the skippers. Seeing the offense just sputter, not able to get anything going. The 0-2. Stays alive. Got him swinging. He chased. And welcome back. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. The catcher, Tyler Stevenson. The wind and the pitch. This one in the air right field. Guriel gliding as he moves to his left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. So digging in, Alec Bohm. One for two. The MO for him is contact. A guy who's going to deliver average. Not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Next offering is down low. Kicks and fires. Lined, and that's a base hit. So that will bring up the top of the order with one away. Here's Leody Tavares. Ground ball right side could be two. Two out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Next for Cincinnati, Charlie Blackman. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Boom. At second with two down. That one pushed to the left and foul. And that is that. Bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. pitch the bit behind with that swing it's strike one well you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch perhaps shorten the swing eliminate the stride that one came in hot but right down the middle you're saying to yourself how did I miss that pitch gotta make a quick adjustment next offering in the dirt and that's ball one The pitch. Got him. One away. There's Gary Sanchez. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball.
going to count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. They handle the bunt and get the out. Two outs, space is empty. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Yo, 1. That clips the corner. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out. They'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two run lead. And a swing and a miss. Back now in Tampa Bay. Now it's Fernando Tatis Jr. And a pitch. Tatis started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held up. Swing and a miss as he was late. Hammer, base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. That one ripped. Gone! Paul Goldschmidt goes deep, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-0. At the play, Jorge Polanco. And first offering is fouled off. Line drive, base hit. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati, Andrew Vaughn. This one in the dirt. And the runner stays where he is. Runner at first with no outs here. Franco over to second. And that's two. Here's Chavis now. 0 for 1 with a fly out. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, not close. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed. Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Back here at Tropicana Field. So bottom of the ninth, here's the third baseman, DJ LeMahieu. Jimmy Garcia takes over on the mound, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Welcome back. And now it's switch hitting third baseman, Nico Goodrum. The pitch. All ones the count. Right hander kicks deals. Way high. Swing and a miss, and he waves at that one. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some guys. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. The right
Lourdes Goriel Jr. John Birdie at the plate. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Puts a bunt down, right side, and he grabs it in foul ground. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Not sure what's going on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone. Wander Franco now at the plate. On a line, base hit. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now it's Joey Gallo. And the first offering is not close. Ripped on the ground a second. That's the ball game. Well, you win this one four to nothing, and it feels.